Hello, I'm Trung X, and I'm really happy that you're now watching our new diorama video. This is the next installment in our Godzilla-themed diorama series, a character I'm very fond of. Currently, both Toho and Apple TV have very exciting movies about Big G. I hope this diorama of mine will also satisfy your imagination because this time, I've created an undead Godzilla. As usual, I have a habit of using steel wire and aluminum foil to create the framework of the character I want to sculpt. Then, I use clay to cover and shape the details of the character. The frame helps me determine the pose and size of the character more accurately, and it also helps me save clay. This time, my diorama concept is the city of New York being attacked by a zombie Godzilla, or you can call it undead Godzilla, if you prefer. So, the sculpting of Big G this time will be based on the version of Legendary Pictures Monsterverse, with the familiar large legs and tail. I've done quite a few dioramas on the zombie theme, so I'm quite confident in creating a completely new zombie Godzilla model this time. I need to create an almost completed Godzilla before transforming it into a zombie. Its mouth is wide open, roaring while wreaking havoc in New York City. Some intestines and rib bones will be partially exposed. I'm not sure about this anatomy, but it's not that important, right? Other parts of Zombie Big G body are not heavily damaged, but there will be many areas without skin, revealing his muscle and flesh. The back, legs, and arms will all have large wounds. The tail may only have long bones.
I really like the dorsal spines of Big G, so, even as a zombie, I want to preserve them without any damage. Let's see the sculpting of my zombie Godzilla before I paint it. The revealing muscle and flesh will need to be painted red to stimulate blood. I'm not sure what color Godzilla's blood is, it might not even have blood. However, I will paint it based on my imagination. Rib bones and tail bones will be white. The skin is likely to be dark gray, and the dorsal spines will feature hints of blue. It looks quite impressive, doesn't it? Share your thoughts in the comments. Initially, I planned to create iconic buildings representing New York City. But I wasn't sure if people from other countries would recognize them. So, I opted for a more recognizable symbol for this city. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it definitely is the Statue of Liberty. I believe almost everyone is familiar with this famous landmark, I thought assembling the Statue of Liberty from a kit would add a unique touch to this video compared to my previous ones. So I purchased a kit. I chose it because its size is quite suitable for Big G. Although the assembly took quite some time, it was easy. I believe you can do it at home with your kids, making it a joyful time with them. After assembling, I will create the scenery of Liberty Island, featuring a harbor and yachts wandering around on the water. Well, a zombie Godzilla roaring next to the Statue of Liberty would truly be a striking contrast. Can you guess whether Big G is preparing to destroy the Statue of Liberty or trying to impress the statue? Let me know in the comments section below. I need to make a mold to pour epoxy resin into. Once the resin is dry, I remove the mold and use a handheld mini grinder to create a rippling water surface.
After grinding, I apply UV resin, it will help achieve the water surface as desired. Now, let's introduce Big G to the Statue of Liberty.